Hello friends, thank you for checking in as always. We're in the kitchen today. I was out in the garden earlier and I noticed a little bit of bug damage on a couple of our kale and a few other leaves that we've got going on. So I figured I would make up a batch of my insect spray. What do I use, you ask? Well, that's a great question. I use milk, believe it or not. I try not to drink milk too much, it doesn't agree with my stomach, but it is great out in the garden. From what I've researched, milk has a couple benefits that it does in your garden. The benefit that I like the most is you use it as a foliar spray, which means you spray it on top of the leaves. And what happens is that soft-bodied insects don't have a pancreas. They don't have an ability to break down the milk sugars and so they leave it alone. It's, it's not appetizing for them, they can't handle it. Milk also has some fungicidal properties uh, to it that are pretty good. And the sugars from milk can really help to stimulate soil life. Now to this milk, I generally add some molasses. Molasses has a lot of trace minerals and again, a nice big sugar boost to help with soil life. So that's what we'll be whipping up today. I mix it up in this ortho dial and spray. It does end up making a bit of a weak mix, but it's really easy to apply so it balances out for me. Fill the base with milk. It's gonna hold about four cups. And then we're gonna use some organic molasses. Black strap's a little bit better, but as long as it's unsulfured, you're good to go. There we go, so we've got about 12 tablespoons of molasses down below and four cups of water up top. So the ratio in here ends up being three tablespoons of molasses to every one cup of milk. Then we're gonna go ahead and attach it onto here at an eight ounce for every gallon of water. You can do this without one of the fancy sprayers, just mix it up in a bucket. Um, but you are going to need to dilute the milk and everything in that time. So again, it's four cups of water, one cup of milk, and three tablespoons of molasses. Give it a quick stir. Usually when the milk's a little bit cold, it takes a while for the molasses to dissolve. So we're gonna let this sit for a while, warm up a bit. We'll stir it up again. Once everything's fully dissolved, then we'll go ahead and go spray. Well, the day got away from me a bit, so it is the following morning. As you can see, the mix is all the way done, and we're ready to spray it on the plants. We're gonna be using the milk mixture as a foliar fertilizer. Now this means that instead of fertilizing directly into the soil, we're gonna spray it on the leaves and the plant can actually absorb some of those nutrients through the leaves and through the stem. If you're gonna do this for yourself, you wanna make sure to do it in the morning or in the evening times because you don't want that water sitting on the leaves during the bright sun because they'll act like little magnifying glasses and overheat the plant. Fortunately, our garden stays pretty shady in the morning time, so I think we should be able to spray it on and be fine for later. 